Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're going to check out a $7 little LED light. I found this small LED light on eBay, and I just could not help myself. I really wanted to see what 7 bucks would buy you when it comes to a small LED panel like this. So we're essentially going to see if I was an idiot for buying this and wasting money, or if it's actually a little decent light. So if you pick one of these up in the box, you're going to find the light itself, a USB cable, a little sticky micro suction pad, and a small little screw on base. That little base that screws onto the bottom is a really strange thread and way too small and kind of useless, so there's no good way to mount this light. So what I did is took some super glue and a small quarter 20 nut, glued it onto the bottom, and now we can use a ball head with it without any issues. And here it is with the ball head added, and you can see how small this thing is. Um, hopefully this isn't absolutely horrible. Um, but yeah, when it comes to actually using the light itself, it's really straightforward. There's just a switch on the side where you turn it on and a small micro USB uh, cable. Output isn't the worst thing in the world considering the size. It's definitely much brighter than an iPhone. And you can see it's actually giving me decent fill next to my huge uh, Aperture 120D. Color looks definitely a little green, uh, but the way I was thinking of using this, especially at its size, was as a little rim light. So it seems kind of silly to buy a full-fledged LED panel just for a little bit of a kicker, but something like this might make a lot of sense. So what I'm gonna do is mount it on a stand and see uh, if I can use it as a little hair light. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And now I've got it just out of frame behind me. You can see it's actually working as a little kicker light you can see it's adding, adding a little bit of definition uh, to the side of my face. I can create a shadow with my hand there. So it's doing something, which is nice. And uh, I think it could be a great little tool for stuff like that. Obviously the size is ridiculous. You could fit probably eight of these things in one pocket. Um, so color doesn't seem awesome. But when it comes to lights like that, I'm not terribly worried about it. I do care about CRI, TL, CRI, TRCI, and all that good stuff uh, when it comes to key lights and fill because that's really important. But for background lights, like the one that's hitting my background, as well as this little tiny light, I'm not as concerned. Uh, you could easily put a little gel to add a different color to it or to add or remove different colors. The last thing I'm going to do is put it behind me so you can't see it and uh, see if we can get uh, kind of a hair light or uh, use it on the background and see if I can light my background with this tiny light. So I'm going to make that switch and in the meantime here's a side by side of the kicker light and no kicker light and the difference between the two. Okay I have the light just behind me out of frame. Um, you can actually see the stand. I didn't have a boom arm super readily available to use that but you could easily do that and for only seven dollars for the actual light itself have a nice little hair light as you can see just adding a little bit to the shot. Um, so now I'm going to turn it and face it to the background, turn off my big background light and see how much uh, illumination we get. Okay, so now I have the light hitting the background. I've turned off my main large light that I use to light the background and it's doing something. <laughs> so it's about two feet away from the backdrop. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the backdrop and me sitting here without any light hitting it just so you can see the kind of before and after. Um, is it super duper bright? No, but is it doing something? Absolutely, so it's two feet away from a white backdrop. I'll move out of the way so you guys can see it real quick. So there it is, and it is actually lighting the background. Uh, so this thing for $7, I think is great for little things like this. Are you gonna light a two person interview with it? Absolutely not. Can you add little kickers, little hair lights, rim lights, little background lights? For sure, it's definitely going to give you something which is really slick. And again, for seven bucks and something that you could fit eight of into your pocket um, is not bad. It has its own built-in battery, so you don't have to worry about you know carrying extra batteries for it. It charges via USB, and I have noticed that you can actually plug in USB power and use it and keep it on while it's charging. So you could definitely get little USB batteries to power it if the battery's getting low. I will post at the bottom of the screen how long uh, it's lasted on its battery life. So I'll actually charge it all the way up and discharge it and see what we get there. But again, seven bucks and a tiny little light that you can chuck in any corner of your bag and you're good to go.
So let me know your thoughts. If you thought this video was stupid and I shouldn't do stuff like this in the future, or if you'd like to see more little cheap hyper budget uh, little products and I'll keep my eye out for more stuff like that. As always, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.